All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Stanley 89818. And it actually sounds pretty good. This is stiff, though, the selector. It, that thing, there must, it, well, you can see the rust in there. So pretty sure water got in it. Detent is, is okay, it's not bad. But it needs cleaned. And this is not a high dollar tool. It's not something that, uh, you know, an auto mechanic would probably keep in his, shop, in his toolbox. But then again, I know a guy that's starting off in the auto field and he has tools like this. This is what, matter of fact, he's uh, asked me to start hunting tools for him. So that's what I'm doing. Now, how do I get this out of there? Okay. Good question. Good, good question. I may have to set this in some WD and, well, it's like the sharp point, usually there's a sharp point you can grab and pull it out. That's gonna make a difference, just a little bit of grease, or a little bit of oil right there. Now getting that little piece out of there, it's gonna be a trick now. There it goes. Oh, I thought I had it. Stab myself with a screwdriver here in a second. Somebody has had this apart because normally that's on top. Boy, this thing's stuck. There it is. Yeah, it's just dry as a bone. Now, sometimes this comes out and sometimes this doesn't. Is it going? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's dry. This is universal, yep. Now, how does this come out? Does this want to come out or does it not? Sometimes this will not come out. And I can hear, I can hear grit. You hear the dirt down in there. This should be like a, usually I think on these there's a nylon bushing underneath that. And that's dirty down in there. Let's, uh, let me get the magnet. Grab these parts so I don't lose them. Let's a little carburetor cleaner here. Yep, I can see the dirt. Now which way are you going? Are you going to come out or not? All right, hang on a second. Let me put this in the uh, magnifying glass and see if I can see that there should be a keeper that I should be able to get out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There 
there's a plastic piece. It's got two little holes in it. And you can take a pair of snap ring pliers, maybe, and get hold of them. But what I, I've made these pair of needle nose pliers that were rusted real bad, and I made, a, I made them to where I could use them like needle nose. You grab hold of these and you slide it out. Like that. Then this piece just falls down. The selector switch. They kind of designed this. Uh, did a good job. And then all there is, there's a detent in the back there. You see the detent? That's it. See the little two holes? When you turn the selector left and right, left, right, left, right, it fits on those detents. That's it. Nothing fancy. And if you look, I don't know if you guys can see, maybe there was, I cleaned some dirt out, but there's still dirt and debris, and there's something, I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let me try to get Is it there? Yeah, you can see the dirt, but there looks like there's a piece of metal or trash right on top of that ridge. And you can see where it's worn on the inside on this. There's that metal piece. I thought I could leave that in there, but it's wanting to flop around. I don't know if I can get this out. Hang on a second. This, this is almost like aluminum piece. See? So the detent, it's like this. These two little balls go left, and then, yeah, they fits perfectly. I meant that, you go that way, you go that way, you go that way, and that way. And this is plastic. I meant this is just a hard chunk of plastic. And this is, I mean, literally cheap. Thin, thin, thin piece of tin. This ratchet is a homeowner grade. I would not, I would not buy this ratchet if I was gonna use it commercially. It's just, it's too flimsy. Piece of thin metal with a piece of plastic. Now this is pot metal. It's a, it's a good little piece of steel or metal but yeah I think I would I would go out and find me an old craftsman or an older Williams or an old wrench then buy something new like this and I I've, I'm gonna have to look online I've never seen one taken down before this is the first time I've had one this far apart yeah cheap very very okay this is heavy steel. This is a good chunk of metal. This is a good chunk of metal. This little piece here, this is a, this here is a good chunk of metal. And then you put two flimsy, I mean, this doesn't even weigh a feather. Flimsy pieces like this. Oh my God, talk about junk. These two pieces right here ruin the whole wrench. I mean, it, it will work for a homeowner and maybe for us a light hobbyist, but I don't know if I would uh, 
put this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take this to work. I. I go. I just grab my old S and K that I've had for forty plus years and just use it. This is not a not very valuable. Not not worthy. Anyways, I'll clean it up. And I'm not going to polish this. I'm not going to do all that to it. It's just not worthy. I'll clean it up and make it a good used tool, and that's it. Speaking of, let's get some carburetor cleaner on this. It's damaged. That's what that is. Let's see if I can get my little a little pointer. I'm trying to see what you guys the ridge. can't see the camera very well to see what it sees but there's a ridge of metal right on the inside there shoot I just broke it off it's like a sheared there's ridges Hang on, look, where, shoot, I'm trying, sorry guys. Let's see, hang on this way, there it is. There, there's ridges there where dirt and debris, kind of like inside a piston, it just, it, it wore it and then made a chunk. Well, I wish I just saw where that piece. Oh, there it is. Hang on. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe my my little screwdriver's magnetized. Where's it at? There it is. That chunk of metal. That was on the inside of the ridge. And that I think is from just dry not being properly maintained and cared for or oiled but then again it's just a cheap old wrench yeah that's just a piece of metal little piece all right gotta hope this video isn't sucky <laughs> sorry i i just want to see what it's like on the inside i, I want to see it let's see if there's any more it ain't gonna hurt i'm me scratching it with a Screwdriver's not hurting anything. Yeah, that's what that is, that ridge. And that ridge could be manufacturing. You know, think about it. Think about it, stupid. This is plastic. How did this plastic, well, I guess rubbing back and forth there. I gotta look at these teeth real closely. Plastic will wear, but you know what? I don't think, I think that might have been manufacturing. Yep, that makes sense. Let's see, what brush can I get in there? I don't think I have anything small enough. See, I got a piece of steel wool on a drill bit right here. Cleaned up pretty good. Oh yeah, it 
looks better. This is my last of my four aught four steel wool. I haven't been to town to get any more and I really need to get some and I keep forgetting. Actually shined up pretty good with that steel wool. Cleaned up the grooves. I think what it is is it cleaned the dirt out of the grooves or the old grime that was in there. You don't see it. Definitely not a wrench I'm going to be looking for again. I normally don't pick up Stanley stuff, but this stuff's junk. This one here is, yeah, I'm not impressed at all. Somebody out there from Stanley's gonna say something, I'm sure, but that's all right. I mean, for a homeowner, yeah, that'd be a good tool. I don't think this is something I would stick in a shop somewhere and, and you know, Tell the guys here here's a good quality tool use it I don't think it stand up over time now let's brush these off a little bit Actually, teeth don't look bad at all. I just realized this video is going to be long. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they don't look bad at all. Yeah, they're not. I thought I kind of expected to see a lot of wear there. Let's see if I can get. I don't know how that's showing in video, but teeth are actually, there's a little bit of wear on the bottom end right here. I can see on the very end. And I see a nick right in the center right there. but I've seen them a lot worse. I see a flake of metal right there. See it? I think the camera's picking it up. I see a flake of metal there. But yeah, all in all, it's not that bad compared to a lot of other wrenches I've worked on in the past. Talk about flimsy. Mm-mm-mm. Look at this and see if there's anything missing off of this. Hang on, I'm gonna turn this camera off for a second. Check battery. Yeah, we're all right. There's nothing missing that I can tell on this. And it, if you look at it, it's got, a, it's got two little bends in it, just perfectly bent. I guess it's designed with that's that's gives it the spring motion it up and down it holds it in that it holds it in this hole okay let me finish cleaning up and then uh, we'll put it together all right ladies and gentlemen let's see if we can't get a little closer in I do not remember 
I took this apart. So I think the metal plate goes in first. With the detent up. See this little metal plate? I'm wondering, I'm going to go ahead and grease down in the inside, just lightly. Can't hurt. If anything, it'll probably attract dirt, make it worse over time. Who knows? Now, how... I don't remember how I got it out. Hold on. Oh, there he goes. Way up high. Now, I've got to put this in the selector because this slides in the top of that selector right there. So you guys can see. If you're ever crazy enough to take one apart, So, I hold that up, like so. Now, this should slide in there. You know what, hang on a second. Before I go any further, let's, uh, same thing. Just slight lube this up here where that rides. Might as well put a little on the bottom of that on the metal where the plastic rides on it. Just a thin film, nothing fancy. Okay, now this has to go in like that. That has to, then this goes in slides in that groove. Oh, just like that. And it go all the way in. Yep, there it goes. Oh, a lot smoother. A lot smoother. Okay. Now I need these two items. And I really didn't do anything to this. Just clean the grime off of it. Teeth are really good shape on this too. This wouldn't get damaged like the big gear would. Okay. The spring has a hook. The hook goes on the top of this. And this just goes just goes in that hole in that plastic piece. And you know what? I am going to there again. A little dab of grease in the hole. Nothing fancy. And then I'm going to grease both the top and the bottom here where that paw sits in. Okay, now, I hope this video doesn't suck, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to... I think I've taken one of these apart and I couldn't figure out how to get it out. Ah, come on. There it goes. There. See? And then this fits in there, but before I do that, I'm gonna have to get some more grease. I'm running out of grease in my cup here.
it doesn't take a lot. I'm just going to lightly lube the top and the bottom where it rides. Now, to put this in, I'm going to have to push down on that paw. Let's see here. If I can push down on the paw with this. Push down on the paw. is going to be to push down. Come on, push. So if I put this in dead center, I got the, this selector on the center, that means I should be able to... There. See? Pushing down on it, slides in. Left or right. Okay. Now, fingers are all greasy. Let me uh, clean this ring up with the Dremel, get some of that rust. I'll be right back. All right, guys, cleaned it up. Put the big side in first, and then just work it in. Maybe. Should be able to just work it in like. There. Nasty. I hate when we get grease all over everything. Let's put everything off to the side here. Wipe this thing down. I know what I'm gonna do with this wrench. I'm going to take it to work and put it in my, uh... All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I don't know where my battery died. Uh, not real big fan. Uh, this is good usable, and it's an 89818. Uh, I'm going to have to go online and look some videos up. Uh, it's not something that I would buy personally. Uh... But since I've got this, I'm going to stick this in uh, my spare toolbox at work. And if somebody needs a 3 8 ratchet or asks for a ratchet, I'm going to hand this to them. Uh, it switches fine now. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, but with those plastic piece riding on that metal tin, uh, real... Uh, inexpensively built I'm sure that's the reason it's done that way and like I said for a hobby a, a light hobbyist or just a, every once in a while it'll probably be all right I would not put this on much torque uh, I don't think the parts in there will hold up uh, you know head bolts on a 5.3 are just unreal and then trying to break them this you're not going to do it with this uh, now, my old S and K, my old Craftsman, and tools like some of the older stuff, I would, and some of the old Stanleys, I would use, but not this. I'm not real fond of this one. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, video's long. I'm sorry. Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. I took this one apart. Is I mean, there was nothing left in it. The body of this thing is great. Those two internal parts is where I think it's the weak. And uh, I definitely won't buy any more of these now that I've seen since I've had this one apart. Uh, normally I don't pick up uh, Stanley ratchets anymore just because I got several of them, but the ones that I do have are better made than this one. Uh, I don't know what year this is. I, I'm pretty sure this has got to be a newer version uh, because the other ones aren't made like this and this is yeah this is uh, not something that I would go out and purchase so 
uh, I will let somebody else use this. I didn't clean it up any further. I didn't polish it because it's not worthy. It's not a, to me, it's not worth taking care of. Okay. This is a worthy tool. Even though it looks junk, it looks old, and, and it's, but this tool here, I can put some torque on it. I can put, I'd be comfortable putting 150 pounds of torque on this. This, no. So, anyways, guys, give me thumbs up, thumbs down, tell me what you think. Uh, if you had any luck, if you used any of these uh, constantly, not just every once in a while, I haven't. I can't say, uh, I, I, I have so many ratchets that I don't use I really don't use a Stanley, even though I got a couple of them in my toolbox. I don't think I've ever used them. So, anyways, y'all, have a good day.